Hello and welcome to English with Jimmy. Today's subject is about an interview with Mr. Jimmy. First question, Mr. Jimmy, what questions do you ask an applicant who is applying to work with you as an English teacher? Someone asked Mr. Jimmy that question, and here is the answer. Mr. Jimmy will ask you to read today's English newspaper's headline, which is a totally random and potluck task, depending on the news. Here is an example of the front pages of some newspapers, today's newspapers, on uh, BBC website. The Guardian, The Times, The Mirror, The Sun, I, Newspaper, The Daily Star, The Daily Mail, Metro, Financial Times, The Daily Telegraph, Daily Express, that is roughly what the candidate will be doing, reading the headlines just randomly and it's potluck depending on the news. Mr. Jimmy will ask you to listen to LBC radio station. Leading Britain's Conversation radio station for a few minutes and explain what is the conversation about. Work longer as the pension age rises. Well, more older people are working for longer in life after the recent rise in the state pension age. It comes down to how well off you've been throughout your working life. Older people are much more likely to carry on working in poorer parts of the country, in richer regions. More people are retiring before they hit the state pension age anyway because they can afford to do so. The Institute for Fiscal Study says around 55,000 more 65-year-olds are now in paid work last year compared with before. Thank you, Declan. As always, you're listening to LBC News. The time is 24 minutes to 5. LBC News. Weather. A cold evening ahead for most of the UK, with temperatures dropping to an overnight low of freezing in the northeast of England. It'll be slightly warmer overnight in Scotland with a low of 5. Wednesday morning will be blustery for some areas, but it will be clearer with more brighter spells. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll see a band of heavy rain sweeping over northern Scotland with a chance there of some gale force winds. Wednesday will be milder than today with highs of 11 degrees in Scotland and 10 in England. LBC News. I'm an engineer. Then Mr. Jimmy will ask you a few basic grammar questions. After that, Mr. Jimmy will ask you to read a specially selected paragraph which included some mouthful long and difficult words to pronounce. Mr. Jimmy uses Zaku, a teleprompter. He can adjust the speed of the scrolling of the script and also the size of the uh, letters and uh, the time count down before it starts and the background color and then he presses the start button. Mr. Jimmy will judge your pronunciation of difficult words and also the speed you can read with, okay? Here's an example.
An interview with Mr. Jimmy. First question. Mr. Jimmy, what questions do you ask an applicant who is applying to work with you as an English teacher? As you can see, this is a auto cue and the words are moving at a certain speed. That speed can be increased and the faster the applicant can read, the better uh, his chances of being selected to teach English. Second question, Mr. Jimmy, what is the initial selection process for a suitable candidate for an interview? Mr. Jimmy said, emailing a brief, inventive, exceptional, and perfectly written CV with no spelling and no grammar mistakes with a nice colored personal photo is likely to get you selected for an interview with Mr. Jimmy. Third question, what happens during the interview? Be warned, Mr. Jimmy is a stickler for details. So arrive promptly on the specified time. Dress formal and bring with you hard copies of your ID, certificates, credentials, and letters of recommendations. Mr. Jimmy judges the candidate by his or her appearance, smell, combed hair, clean fingernails, formal dress, and polished shoes. Mr. Jimmy judges the candidate by his or her handshake, greeting voice tone, and choice of words. Mr. Jimmy likes to see the candidate sitting up straight with hands in lap and eyes front. Mr. Jimmy likes the candidate who switches off his mobile phone before the interview. Mr. Jimmy does not like the candidate who chews gum during the interview. Mr. Jimmy does not like the candidate who has tattoos. Mr. Jimmy does not like shy candidate or the candidate who stares a lot. Mr. Jimmy prefers a candidate who has normal eye contact. Mr. Jimmy notices if the candidate is sitting still or fidgeting. When Mr. Jimmy asks you to talk about yourself, say, your name, age, city of residence, last qualifications, and current job. That's it and no more, okay? Because Mr. Jimmy is probably tired after interviewing many other candidates and is not interested in your life story. During the interview, never say you are unemployed. Say you are attending a course or working as a trainee or a volunteer for a charity organization. Never say I am not working because that means you are a bum and lazy. When Mr. Jimmy asks you a yes or no question, answer yes or no. When Mr. Jimmy asks you to elaborate and explain a certain point, speak for a minute or two. Do not be abrupt and just say yes or no. And also do not talk too much. Talk for three minutes maximum. Tell Mr. Jimmy that you are interested in the school or the company and know a bit about its history from relatives or friends or the internet. When Mr. Jimmy asks you about your weaknesses, never say your weaknesses. Say, I am willing to learn in order to overcome any shortcomings I might have. At the end of the interview, if Mr. Jimmy asks you, do you have any questions for me? Answer, yes and ask Mr. Jimmy the following questions and in precisely 
the following order. Say to Mr. Jimmy, if I am lucky enough to get the job, I would like to know the following. Will there be continuous training courses to improve my skills? What are the working days? What are the working hours? Does the job require working overtime? What are the career prospects for promotion? Is there parking space if you have a car? Is there subsidized catering or canteen? Is there any health insurance? Is there any life insurance? What are the pensions arrangements? Is it a company pension or a private pension or a government pension? What time are the tea break and the lunch break and for how long? And the final question, what is the salary? These questions and their order will indicate to Mr. Jimmy that you are interested in the job and want a long and stable career with the school or the company. That is what it takes to get the job. Now, do you still think you can hack it and got what it takes to work with Mr. Jimmy as an English teacher? There is an idiom that says, if you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. And there is another idiom that says beggars can be choosers. In your opinion, which idiom will get you a job? I thank you, Jimmy.